language pathologist and the owner and operator of Speech Language and Beyond. Well, I am coming to you today from my home. I am shooting a video that talks about ways that you can incorporate your child's speech and language goals as a part of their daily routine. Now, normally, when I say daily routine, I normally tell parents that it's something, a moment that you don't necessarily have to create. It can be a part of when they get dressed in the morning. It can be a part of when they are eating dinner, um, any type of meal any type of playtime, any um, thing that's a part of your daily routine, you just add the vocabulary. And sometimes your therapist may tell you to incorporate goals such as identifying objects, naming objects, um, using descriptive words, identifying descriptive words, identifying actions, naming actions, answering WH questions. They may tell you to find a way to incorporate those goals as a part of your daily routine. Well, this one is a little bit different because these are some, what I'm about to show you are things that you would have to plan out ahead of time as one-on-one -on -one time that you may want to have with your child and as moms I know a lot of times when our children become of age or during the summer or during some of their breaks we will plan things for them to do in order to keep them occupied so one of the things that Ashton and I are going to do tonight is make some play-doh and I'm going to show you how you can use an activity such as making play-doh as a way to get them to work on their joint attention skills by looking at you, paying attention, processing what you say, being able to answer WH questions, identify, name, all of those things as a way for you to be able to work on that as a part of your daily routines that you have with your family or special things that you plan with your child, maybe like making cookies. We did that um, this previous Friday, we sit at the table, we make cookies, I allow for him to be interactive. So those are just some everyday life ways that you can use to work on some therapy goals with your child. And I also want you to check out, um, I'm going to have a blog entry that covers this topic as well. I'm also going to provide you with a, a therapy lesson plan that if this is something that you want to do at home with your child, the ingredients that we use, the targets or speech and language which targets or objectives that you can also use a way you can check off on it flashcards wh questions are going to apply supply you with a packet um, that includes um, some of the targets that we will use here so i hope that you enjoy this video is just going to be one where it's not necessarily scripted so i'm going to do it with my son i don't know what he's going to give me i don't know what his reactions are going to be but it kind of gives you that real life scenario of what it would be like um if you were at home doing it with your child so i hope you enjoy and please subscribe to my channel check us out on facebook also read my blog and leave me some comments okay and i hope that you enjoy and i'll talk to you soon So what? Hold on, wait. Listen to mommy. Sit right here. Okay. Sit right here. What okay. is what is this? This is bowl. Bowl. This is a bowl. So we're gonna put everything in the bowl, okay? Okay. So we're gonna put the bowl right here. Can you spread your leg out? Yeah. You put the bowl right here. What's this, Ashton? Yes. What's this? Fla well, we are going to make Play-Doh, but look, flour, flour, look at my mouth, flour, okay, what is this? Water. Water, and the water is in a what? Water. The water is where? It's in the what? The water. It's in the cup. It's in the cup. Look, the water is in the cup. You got, okay, you want to drink some? <laughs> Stop it. The water is in the cup. Okay. The, what are these? It's spoons. Spoons. These are the mixing spoons. Octopus. Say right here. Say right here. The mixing spoons. Look, what's this? Cup. Salt. Very good. Cup. What's this? Papa. Say oil. Alice. This is oil. Okay. All right. So, all right, Daddy, what's the first thing we need to do? Okay, one of three. Mix the flour and salt. Okay, how much flour? Pour flour. four tablespoons flour. of flour into a small mixing bowl. All right, so let's get the, the flour. Look, tablespoon. 
So we're gonna get, we're gonna get four tablespoons, okay? So we're gonna get it out together. All right, so we're gonna dip it in. Look, one. Okay, here's the first one. One, let's put it right here. That's the first one. Let's get another one. Two. Two. We're pouring it in the bowl. Three. Four. That's the third one. Let's do one more. Let's put four. It's in the bowl. Okay, good job. What's next, Daddy? Next. Add two tablespoons of table salt. All right, so here's our salt, okay? okay. So we're going to pour it in the spoon. Yeah, Say salt, top. and we're going to put it in the spoon. All right, can you help me pour it? Yeah. Here we go. You said two tablespoons? Two tablespoons. Two. All right, so here, hold on. Here's the first one. Okay. All right, pour it in there. Actually, put it in there. Can you put it in? Dump it. It's in the bowl. Let's do another one. Where are we putting the salt? Where are we putting it? In the bowl. Look, the salt is going in the bowl. What's next, Daddy? Stir the two together with the spoon. All right, so we forgot to get our spoon, Ashton. We'll just water. use this, okay? Wait a minute. We don't need the water. Come over here. Can you stir it? Does it? Look, stir. Turn. Stir. We're going to stir it together, okay? We're going to use our tablespoon to stir it in together. Hold on. Mommy wants you to stir. Can you stir it with me? Not. You just want to put your hands in it. That's so You don't have enough time to put your hands in it, okay? Okay, what's next, babe? One now. Ashton, stay over here with me. One now. Yo, what's next, Daddy? What's next, Daddy? This? Apple. Okay, how much water? Two! Two cups! One cup. One third cup. One third cup of water. Okay, so let's find our one third cup, Ashton. Okay. Thank you. Right here. Okay, Okay, can you hold it for Mommy? Okay, hold it right here. You said one third cup of water? Yep. I want it. Hold on, don't let, let mommy waste it. it. Alright, put it in. Let's okay. Pour it in. Okay, what else, babe? Well, I'm not bad. <laughs> I'm not what, babe? Stir in one tablespoon vegetable oil. Alright, here's our vegetable oil, Ashton. With a clean spoon. With a sure. clean spoon. Good. Is it about the bell? Let me pour it in, baby. Okay, now put it in here. Okay, now what we need to do? Do one next. What do we need to do now, baby? One next. One next. Add four to five drops one of next. food coloring okay, so what, into the oil water. Okay, so what food coloring do you want? Let's see what colors we have, Ashley. Look, red. Red. What color is this one? Red. What's this one? Blue. What's this one? Yellow. Which kind do you want to use? Which kind? What color are we going to make our play doh? You choose your color. Which color? Ashton, what color? Choose a color. You want blue? Okay, so what do we need to do? Put the whole thing in there? Four to five drops. All right, come on. Let's put four to five drops of the food coloring in, okay? Okay. Okay, you ready? Ready. Let's do it together. We're going to squeeze it. Squeeze it. One. Two. Three, four. four. Okay. So, what do we need to do now? Yeah. Stir the oil, oil water again. Look, we're stirring it together. All, all, all together. All together. Don't put your fingers in it, Ashton. Mama has to stir it. Come on, stir with me. Mm -hmm. We already used the blue, buddy. No, don't put yellow in. We already got blue. We already have blue. Look, Ashton, look at the Play-Doh. Huh? Look at the Play-Doh. You got blue Play-Doh, buddy. I can't do it. Hmm? We don't need the yellow, Ashton. Look at the color that you made. Look. Wow. Wow. Is that it, babe? You just stir it? Keep, 
mix it until water and flour mix together. Okay, see? There's our play doh, everybody. I need a little bit of dough, Daddy. You need the dough. <laughs> Don't push it over the stuff. Yucky! Yucky. Come on, push it together with Mama. Can you touch it? Ashley, come touch it. Touch it. Come touch it. It's sticky. Look at our play doh. Ew. Ew. It's slimy and sticky. It's slimy and sticky. Here. Here. It's slimy and sticky. Look. There we go. Come touch it now. Let's see. Look, mommy's hands are dirty. Look, they're dirty. They're dirty. All right, there's your Play-Doh. It's nasty. You touch it. Ew. All right, well, good job. everyone we just wanted to come on camera and show you guys our final product so this is the play-doh that we ended up with it's very smooth now we can play with it so in the end what we had to do was keep rolling it on um a, what you call it baby flowered a floured surface until it became less sticky and tacky so this is what we came up with look Ashton look do you like your play-doh yeah. Yeah, what is it made like? It's made like a what? A ball. A ball. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's all about just creating the experience with them where you have your bonding time with your family, you're setting them up to follow directions, identify objects, identify action words, answer WH questions, use descriptors. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It may not be the most professional video, but it's my life at home in the late afternoon when it's almost close to Ash's bedtime for us spending time together and just to kind of show you all some techniques that you all can use. Um, with your children as a way to incorporate their goals at home. Oh. See you later. Break the plate up. Look, look, you, gotta, you can do anything you want to do with it. Ball, Play-Doh ball. <laughs>